and welcome back to my YouTube channel. From the title of this video, you can probably tell that my obsession with Chloe boots has grown again. In my December favourites video, I mentioned two of the pairs that I bought recently, one of which I got for Christmas and then one I picked up myself and I really enjoyed wearing the Chloe Vinny boots like really enjoyed wearing them and now when I style up outfits I'm kind of putting a lot of outfits with them so upon further research I found that there is another colour in the boots unfortunately they are pretty much sold out where I can find them but if I do find them anywhere in any sizes I will link them down below and I'll link my December favourites video down there as well so today I am unboxing with you Chloe Vinny boots pair numero dos that they're, they're just so comfy and I know they kind of have to wear in a little bit but most kind of like stiff fabric boots or leather boots you kind of have to wear in anyway I know especially with things like Dr Martens and kind of leather Chelsea boots it takes a long time for them to give and for them to wear in but after they do they just become the most comfortable shoes ever so I'm gonna start off with the fact that I bought these from Depop I couldn't find them for sale anywhere and the only pair basically in the world that I could find that was in my size was on Depop so thank god I managed to find them. They have all the original box and everything like that. The box is kind of beaten up compared to the ones that I bought however the actual shoes are fine and that's kind of more what I care about. So they came with the original dust bags obviously these are long dust bags for the long boot but I don't really ever tend to use dust bags I have a lot of them like I have a whole drawer full of them for kind of most of the designer things that I own that come with dust bags some of them I've left in the boxes that are in my attic because I just don't use them but we're going to open these up and have a look so they come like this in the box and then you take the paper out Oh, aren't they just beautiful? I know in photos they look kind of purpley, but they're actually more of a chocolate brown colour. Let's get them out. So this is the Chloe Vinny boot in the darker colour. I have the tan ones already. They both have the same colour down the side. I'm not sure if this one's a little bit darker, but they both have the same colour. These also have the little pin at the top as well on this side. And these ones are lovely and new on the bottom. None of the paintwork has yet flaked off like it has on mine. But as I said, I feel like that is something that is supposed to happen on a lot of designer shoes because, I mean, it does on most of the ones I have, especially Prada ones. That seems to wear off quite quickly. But these ones are all nice and new. I bought these from a Depop shop called Lux, Luxoretto or something like that. I'll leave it linked down below, but they do sell quite a few different kind of designer, whether they're secondhand or new. These look as if they're brand new. So, well, they are brand new because they've never been worn. I imagine they've been tried on, but they've never been worn. So I don't know what most of their stuff is like, but really, really happy with these. I bought these in a UK size 7, which is a European size 40. I know a lot of um, designer brands work in like European sizes just because it kind of is more universal than UK sizes. So these are maybe half a size to a size bigger than I would normally purchase. However, because they are a boot, I am more likely to wear like tights with them. Um, boots just tend to be a little bit more comfortable and plus they have a pointed toe as well if they are a little bit bigger so that's why I kind of sized up in these and I would recommend if you're gonna buy something like this I would probably maybe go half a size up just so that you know that you can wear socks you know that they're gonna be comfortable um, and they're not gonna kind of especially if they have a pointed toe they're not gonna squish the front of your feet because I had that issue with a pair of my Balenciaga boots. The front of them is so pointed that... Why is someone closing a door in the middle of my video? Thanks to whoever that was for slamming a door in the middle of my video. Anyway, <laughs> I had that problem with one of my pairs of boots and just because they're so pointed, they were way too small at the front. And it was really upsetting because I did love those boots, but they are for sale on my Depop. They are purple velvet Bal Balenciaga boots. But yeah, so make sure you size up maybe half a size in these ones. 
This is the kind of thing that I'm going to pair so much with sort of jeans and floaty tops. Kind of like the boho cowgirl look that Chloe is all about. I feel like Chloe is very, not like hippie, but kind of like boho chic. And some things are like still a bit structured, but most of it is kind of like floaty, girly, floral, boho. That's the kind of vibe that I feel like Chloe is, has always been and continues to be so it's not something I ever really kind of bought into but since I saw these boots and also the Betty Rain boots that I have I just feel like they're becoming more kind of everyday wear and rather than kind of like just summer wear. So I have a dress on today so I'm going to try these on with the dress just to show you what they look like as well but definitely follow me over on Instagram because you'll be seeing a lot of these boots styled up and a lot of the lighter tan colours tan, uh, styled up as well. So you don't necessarily have to invest in a more expensive boot. I paid, what did I pay? I paid like 250 or 300 for the first pair and this pair was 360 something like that. But originally new, these were 160 Oh, no, sorry, £1,075. So I feel like I got a bargain. However, I know that's still kind of more than some people would. I'm like holding it like a baby. <laughs> I'm going to put that down. I know that's more than some people would probably want to spend on boots. So I would say look for kind of cheaper alternatives. I know that kind of Ego do a lot of, not like copies, but their versions of different shoes. So it's worth looking at brands like that, especially if you're inspired by designer style, but maybe that's not in your price range yet. And for those of you that maybe would potentially look into investing in designer pieces, I would say don't disregard TK Maxx. Honestly, I think it's amazing. I know I said this in my last video, but they do have some really good stuff. It just depends when they get it in. The ones in London are amazing for designer stuff as well. But sometimes you find some hidden gems in kind of like smaller TK Maxx stores too. So I've just popped the Chloe boots on so that you can see. I have got a, this is actually a size 20 dress. This is gonna be in my e-bloggers haul um, that's probably gonna be going out this week. So stay tuned for that. However, I have got the boots on and I absolutely, I'm obsessed with them. They are just amazing. I love them. They look so good with like a boho dress or maybe like jeans and a floaty top like in this kind of fabric as well. I just think they look so amazing. I know you can't see the full outfit properly but I will take a picture and post it on my Instagram so that you can see but yes, loving these. Definitely check out websites like the Outnet and obviously the regular stuff like Farfetch just to see if they have any similar designs. But Depop found me these boots, so 100% check on Depop, eBay, anything like that. Just be really vigilant when you're checking kind of where you're buying them from. Do they sell other designer items? Do they look real? Do they have good feedback? All of those kind of things and that's the kind of way that you'll be able to tell um, please don't get caught out. I know it can be really easy when buying designer stuff online because you can't see it in person and you don't necessarily know where it's coming from. But just please be careful and please be vigilant. I know that the shop that I bought these ones from on Depop do sell a lot of designer stuff and that kind of is their business. So I trusted that as yeah I don't know I just get, guess just gut feeling but like I say I'll leave them linked down below and you can keep an eye on anything that they post just in case you wanted to invest in some designer pieces. There we have it my brand new Chloe Vinny boots. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram because I will be styling all of these looks up plus all of my other kind of fashion lifestyle content is over on there too. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon for more videos.